Welcome to this video. Today we're going to do a remote wipe of a Windows Phone 7 device using Microsoft BPOS. The first thing we need to do is log into Outlook Web Access from where we will actually initiate the remote wipe. From here we locate the options panel and then within options select mobile devices. Here we'll see the details of the devices connected up to the exchange account and what we're going to do is wipe all data from device. And we're presented with a dialog box which prevents us from accidentally wiping this device. And we'll click the OK button. Immediately you'll see that the device wakes up and pops onto the HTC loading screen. This of course is the HTC Mozart 7. And now you can see that the device has woken itself back up again and has reached the stage where a full reset has been performed. So this is exactly as if you just unbox the phone uh, and it was a brand new device. Now, the next thing that's very important to do is remove the device from the list. If you don't do this, then it uh, will cause the device to continuously reset after you have set up the Exchange account on that Windows Phone 7 device again. Here you see the inbox of the user that has just performed the device reset, and as you can see, there are two emails informing the user that the device has uh, reset itself completely and successfully. So now we'll swap over to our Windows Phone 7 and we'll uh, actually set this device up for BPOS access. So first off we will set the date and time. and then we'll sign in with a Windows Live ID The next step is to go and actually set back up the BPOS uh, exchange inbox. So we just pop into settings, go along to email and accounts, add an account, and we want to select Outlook. In here we type in the uh, email address of the user's account on BPOS. What you notice now is that extra information is needed and BPOS actually requires the username to be exactly the same as the email address entered earlier on. And again a little bit more info. This time what we're actually looking for is the name of the exchange server for BPOS. And in this case we're in uh, EMEA so it's red002. 
If you do find yourself needing these details, you'll be able to find them by going into Outlook Web Access and selecting Options from the top right hand corner. and then we'll see that the account has uh, connected correctly and therefore goes bright white and if we pop into the inbox we'll see that uh, a couple of emails have downloaded and in fact these are the remote device wipe confirmation messages